A clip of RFK Jr. putting a mysterious blue liquid in his drink recently went viral, and the blue liquid is probably methylene blue, a chemical that's suddenly in the spotlight. It's touted as a game-changing therapy that can slow down the aging process and extend lifespan. So let's take a look at why it's generating so much excitement and what the current research shows. And if you want weekly health research summaries and health strategies that I share with my patients, sign up using the link in the pinned comment. But even before RFK Jr. was spotted putting it in his drink, methylene blue has been steadily growing in popularity, particularly among biohackers and health enthusiasts. So how did we get here? Well, methylene blue has a fascinating history. It was discovered in 1976 by a German chemist looking for synthetic dyes for the fabric industry. But not long after that, a German doctor was using it to stain tissues so that they could show up better under the microscope. He found that it targeted certain kinds of cells and tissues. This led to its early use in treating malaria, and methylene blue was used as the first fully synthetic drug, so it's been around for a long time. But how did we get from treating malaria to the thought that we might be able to use it to fight aging? Well, there's some intriguing research results that pointed in this direction. For instance, researchers published results in 2008 from an investigation of the effects of methylene blue on human cells in the lab. They found that the chemical made the cells last through many more generations than normal, and this seemed to be due to how methylene blue affects the mitochondria, which is the cell's power plant. It increased energy production and protected cells from damage. Problems with mitochondria and cell damage from oxidative stress are important mechanisms in aging. So this promising result showed that methylene blue might have the potential to boost longevity. Another study added weight to this idea. It investigated the impact of methylene blue on brains of rats. The rats in the study had a condition that causes their mitochondria to not work as well. The condition results in damage to the brain tissue and symptoms like seizures. Treatments with methylene blue seemed to help. It prevented seizures and protected against cellular damage. Again, the key mechanism for methylene blue appeared to be related to the mitochondria in the cells. It stimulated greater energy production. It also helps eliminate free radicals, which are unstable molecules that damage our cells. So given these types of experimental results, researchers wondered whether methylene blue could extend the lifespan in living organisms. So a trial was done through the Meticulous Interventions Testing Program. This is a program that tests supplements and diets specifically to see if they can extend lifespan. They tested methylene blue in mice, and here's what they found. Overall, lifespan wasn't statistically different for the mice treated with methylene blue, but they did find that the maximum lifespan in female mice increased by 6%. Now, the researchers concluded, though, that the study didn't support the idea that methylene blue is an effective anti-aging treatment. The effect size was just too small and limited to one sex. So what does this all mean? Does it show that methylene blue isn't going to be useful for lifespan? Well, not necessarily. We are very different to mice. Consider the example of omega-3 fatty acids. So just like with methylene blue, we had experimental results from the interventions testing program showing that omega-3 didn't seem to improve lifespan. But I still take omega-3 and I do that because of the large human vital trial. It involved over 25,000 individuals and it showed that the group who took omega-3 had an unexpectedly high 28% reduction in the risk of having a heart attack compared to the group who took the placebo. So we've got solid benefits for omega-3 found in human trials. So is it going to be the same for methylene blue? Well, one study looked at the effects of methylene blue on the brain. Researchers scanned participants' brains while they performed tasks that tested their attention and short-term memory. Those who took methylene blue showed increased brain activity in several regions. They also performed better on memory tests. Another study also looked at brain function. Methylene blue was given to participants who were undergoing therapy for claustrophobia. The therapy relied on forming new memories. Researchers found that methylene blue seemed to strengthen the formation of new memories. So both of these studies show positive potential effects of methylene blue on the brain. Let's look at one more brain study. This one is a meta-analysis that examined the effects of methylene blue in Alzheimer's disease. So you might wonder what the connection here is. Well, problems with the mitochondria in the cells of the brain are a key contributor to Alzheimer's disease. As we've already seen, there is some hints in the data that methylene blue seems to promote mitochondrial health. So that's why the researchers wondered if it could help with Alzheimer's disease. The authors of this meta-analysis concluded that the results with methylene blue so far are mixed. This treatment shows promise, but existing studies are short-term treatment durations and the doses are different. We need more research to understand the potential of methylene blue, its mechanisms, and its safety.
And that's all that we've really got in terms of published human research on methylene blue. Yes, you're going to have stories from people who take methylene blue and say that they've got wonderful effects, but we don't have the published human research in the form of randomized clinical trials to confirm or disprove those findings. So why not just try methylene blue? What do we have to lose? And that is a fair question. And the current lack of evidence hasn't stopped many companies from making methylene blue supplements and promising its anti-aging effects. But here's the problem. As with any drug, methylene blue has the potential for risks. For example, methylene blue can lead to a dangerous condition called serotonin syndrome. This is where too much serotonin accumulates in the body and it can happen because methylene blue can block serotonin from being taken out of circulation. This is the same thing that happens with many common antidepressants. Other medications can have this effect too. When serotonin levels are too high, the results can be life-threatening, so taking methylene blue along with other medications can be dangerous. There's also a risk related to our blood. Some people have an inherited condition where their bodies can't make enough of a certain enzyme, and when they take methylene blue, it can alter their red blood cells so they can't carry oxygen very well. This condition is very serious, and even people who don't have this inherited condition can be affected if they have too much methylene blue. It can also cause other side effects ranging from joint pain to the loss of taste. So how much methylene blue is too much? Well, this is part of the problem. We don't know what a proper therapeutic dose should be if we're trying to use methylene blue. And there's another risk involved with taking methylene blue at this time. The sources that you'll find on the internet might not be regulated or independently tested. You don't necessarily know if what they say on the supplement bottle is actually what you're getting, and there can be unwanted contaminants like heavy metals. So for all of those reasons, I don't recommend methylene blue to my patients. At this point, we simply don't have good data in the form of human randomized clinical trials to know their proper effects in humans. But fortunately, there are things that we can do right now to extend lifespan. For example, a recent study gives us a fascinating glimpse. It found that if we make certain changes, we can add a lot of healthy years to our lives. If we make these changes when we're 20, we can add between 11 and 13 years on average. Even if we make these changes at age 60, we can gain over 8 healthy years of extra lifespan. So what changes am I talking about? Of course I'm talking about diet. This study estimated the effects of life expectancy from switching to a standard Western diet to an optimal one. And that optimal one meant a much higher intake of whole grains, legumes, fish, fruits, vegetables, and nuts. And it sharply reduced processed meats, sugary drinks, and refined grains. The change to eating more legumes all by itself seems to be responsible for a gain of up to two and a half years. In other words, a powerful new supplement for increasing longevity that you're probably not going to hear about from health influencers is beans. And really, this shouldn't be a surprise. We already know that diet is critical for so many health outcomes. Another powerful lever that we can pull to increase our healthy lifespan is exercise. A massive cohort study looked at over 100,000 people and followed them up for 30 years. It found that those who hit their exercise targets had a 19 to 25% lower risk of death. And those who achieved targets for vigorous physical activity, so think jogging or swimming, had similar risk reductions. So if we're concerned about adding healthy years to our lives, a healthy diet and plenty of exercise is a smart place to start. And too many people forget that in the noise of this new supplement that we see in headlines. But if we do want to take supplements that are backed up by strong human research, have a look at the large Cosmos study, which found that a well-designed multivitamin and mineral supplement boosted cognition, memory, and executive function. And that's part of the reason why I take microvitamin. But just because I take a supplement does in no way mean that you should as well. But methylene blue isn't the only supplement touted for its ability to counteract the process of aging. And it isn't the only one with potential dangers. So make sure to check out this next video here, where I uncover four popular longevity supplements that are probably doing more harm than good.